Robert, what is a DST? A deferred sales trust is an installment sale, and it's a way for people to defer capital gains. Installment sales have been around for almost 85 years, and somebody that wants to sell their property can sell it and, and ultimately sell it to a third-party trustee in exchange for an installment, and then the trustee can resell it on to the cash buyer. And ultimately, what ends up happening is that cash gets liquid and diversified. Traditional installments are not diversified and not liquid. Mm -hmm. they're, they're only backed by the asset that you once owned. In this case, you're selling it and you're getting diversification with an installment, which is a much better approach. Who benefits from it? Really, it, in this case, um, the, the taxpayer gets liquidity, diversification, and they are able to uh, approve the type of collateral that they would. So I would say that really the note holder, the, the seller taxpayer, gets the deferral of, the, of the, all the money that they would have to pay to the state or the federal government, but yet um, the benefits here are really giving them better diversification, uh, better cash flow, predictable cash flow, and, and again, um, you know, being able to put them in things that can diversify because markets can change and when they sure. do, you want diversification. So a great way to diversify and be able to get um, uh, liquid, diversified cash flow, well, predictable. Sounds like a, a great resource for the end all person that's benefiting, right? You're selling the real estate. Uh, the natural question I think a lot of people ask if something sounds too good to be true, is there anything they should look out for? Is it legal? What, uh, what are some of the myths around it? Well, I think a lot of people don't know about it, so that's probably because we name it the Deferred Sales Trust, but you know, under IRC 453, it's an installment sale. So we've been doing it 21 years. Our tax law firm um, supports it, and, and they indemnify the clients for their work. They audit defense, state, federal. We've had reviews by the IRS. We've had a, 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 a formal review by the IRS. No issues. We've had not one issue with all the transactions we've done over the years. So a very, very positive uh, report. And again, it, they just have to talk to their CPA, their attorney, and get comfortable with what we do. And I think once they do that, yeah. they see the value of it. How does someone get started? Uh, really what we do is each agent has that's representing the estate planning team would have an, uh, their website. If they're a professional, they can join the estate planning team and become a member. If they're a client, they would just go to the member's website and actually put their illustration in or you know, start the case, which generates up to the member and down all the way to the experts, all the way up to the tax attorney to close the case and help them proceed forward. So that's what we built. Sounds like an amazing model. It uh, truly is. It's an amazing way to help people, and that's what we're all about. Thank you, Robert Beakley. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it.